Hello everyone, my name is Speedcube and welcome to the channel. I am back with a new Labyrinthine video because Valco Studios have just released the Christmas update which includes a new map with two new monsters. I don't know if you're guaranteed those new monsters, but two new monsters that are supposed to be extra difficult for that map alone. Chapter 5 is not here yet, but I'm here to try out the new winter map as part of the case files procedural generation. So let's hop in and see how it goes. Let's have a look, right. Oh, look, look, we've got snow. We have snow effects. Look at that. Oh, brilliant. Hang on. I can hear crows. I can hear crows, but I don't know if we're going to guarantee these new monsters, but we're going to give it a go anyway. We're going to give this a go. And maybe they've also increased the chance for rare maps to spawn. This is not a rare map, which gives us a guaranteed chance of getting the cosmetic. And we might get a Christmas cosmetic, which is limited time only. I think on non-rare maps like this one, it's only a 10% um, a chance. So we'll have to see. But anyway, so here's what I like to do. Here's what I like to do. So as I'm, I, I, I'm level 13 and I've had to solo a lot of these maps because my friends aren't currently playing this. So what I do is I always start with the green the green glow sticks and leave that trail. When I die, I then switch to the red and so on and so forth. So I know, always know where I've been. Um, I generally start by by running around, and as soon as I hear something, I kind of stop. But I have no idea how the mechanics of these new monsters work. So this could be interesting. This could be very interesting as well. So here we go. So we're back to the start. I, I'm, I'm really like OCD with this kind of stuff. I always like to join up paths, just so I always know which way I've come from. So I know that I've been around in a loop here, but I'm going to go back this way. And I'm going to see basically where the next turning is and take that turning instead. Something's coming because I can hear the music getting louder. Is that the pig man's music? Oh god, not the pig man. Please, not the pig man. I think that's the pig man's music. The louder the music is, the closer. The closer. <laughs> Gotta get out of it quick. Oh my god, I hate the pig man so much. I'm not quite sure of the, the mechanics in which to kind of get rid of him, other than I'm supposed to run him into a wall. But I gotta find a wall for him to run in. I'm gonna hit a dead end any minute now, aren't I? Oh, there's a house. There's a house there on the other side of that map. But I gotta get there. I don't think I'm gonna do it. We can turn down here. Can we get in this way? Can we get in this way? Oh my god! Oh my god! How do I get there? How do I get there? How do I get there? I'm in a dead end. I'm in a no, I'm not dead end. Get me into a safe house. Get me into a safe house, quick. Damn you, pig man. He's not going to let up. He's not going to let up. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Just got to make it, just got to make it. Ooh. There's one of the seals. I need five seals. Five seals of which to escape this maze. And um, there's one of them. <laughs> I'm going to check just in case there's more in here. Sometimes on the smaller maps you can get two. Um, but given that the small maps don't stay the same size every time the higher your level, a small map will still increase up to a max. This is probably quite a big small map. So there's probably only one per room. Sometimes I can find rooms where there aren't even any. So the music's gone. He has gone completely, but where he has gone, I don't know. Where he's gone. So it's very, very difficult to see. Uh, Pigman is is a tricky, tricky monster to have in your maze. I'm kind of hoping he is the only monster we've got here. He's normally found. There's another building over there. I can see it. He's normally found in the crypts, in the crypts maps. 
So they've added him as an optional for this one as well. I don't know which other maps he can spawn in. But... I hate him. I hate him. I, I've heard people say you can run him into a wall. I don't know whether that means you've got to turn at the last minute or not. Let's, let's get, how do we get in there? But I've never, ever been successful in that. And it was just blind luck I came to a, a, a safe house. Right, here's a dead end. And another building there. So plenty of buildings. Right, I can hear that again. I'm going to run into it soon. Is this the one I've been to? No, it's not the one I've been to, is it? Sure. No, there's another seal there. Brilliant. Fantastic. Check for any cosmetics, just in case we get that 10% chance it's going to spawn. He's seen me. We can't do anything about it because I'm in a safe room. Oh, it is terrifying. It's, it's not like so much a... It's more stressful, I think, than anything. I'm gonna loiter a bit. And it goes away. I've also lost lost my bearings. I think the star is behind me. And until this update at least, the exit was always diagonally the opposite corner. I don't know whether they've changed that now. They might have changed that. It might not always be as simple as that. But it meant you could kind of look at where the moon was and know which direction you were facing. I don't really bother with the compass. I never found the compass useful. Let's, let's get moving. Let's get moving again. The snow actually makes it quite hard to see. The snow definitely makes it hard to see. And these are dark maps anyway. Um, our friends and I have always had to increase the brightness when playing this. But... Uh, yeah, this is very dark, and <laughs> the snow is, makes it really tricky, so it's also quite terrifying, because I'm reliant wholly on that music to tell me when Pigman is near. So even in these bigger areas, more open areas, I still run in straight lines, so I can always see at a distance where my glow sticks are. Now, I've had... I'm playing on kind of easy the easiest type of map because this game is really really designed for multiplayer but I have still had more than one monster on one of these maps I've got a gut feeling that is a, has a building down here gut feeling gut feeling trust the gut there we are there we are but 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 this could be a room that doesn't have one in and it is. Sometimes you find notes in these buildings which give you a clue about the enemies, but I've never seen one that has any information about the Pigman. Pigman was a enemy they introduced in Chapter 4 of the main storyline part of this game. This is a procedural kind of map for leveling. And I just get the impression they didn't actually create notes for Pigman. Where are you? You are close. And I'm in a dead end. There's no other kind of ways to go once I go out of here. Right, we can make our move now. The I say the music has faded, but it's I can already hear it in the distance. But let's take a different route. We can go either I've come that way, so let's go straight on. Let's go straight on. That is the courtyard. I'm pretty sure there's a there's a courtyard kind of a fountain in the, in these maps, and sometimes there is one of the seals on there, but it's quite an open area, so we could run into Pigman. Oh, no, it's the exit. We have found the exit. Now we have to put the five seals into there. The moon is directly behind me, so the start should be the direction of the moon. Okay, so it's kind of it doesn't feel a terribly big map. But I've just got to be wary. He's coming. He's coming. Behind me. 
I don't think he saw me though, because he didn't screech. If he sees you, you'll screech. That's a dead end, isn't it? I always like to map out the dead ends just so I can see at a glance it's a dead end. Feels like I'm going really slow because the snow is going in my face. I'm going against the wind. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Let's map the edge. This feels like an edge of the map now. Uh, dead end. It's a dead end. It's a dead end. So when I first started playing this game, we, I, we, I, we got Miley. He's very easy to dodge once you know his mechanic. He just basically hears you. So if you hear, if you go near him, you'll hear a growl. You just stay still until the runes fade on his body. And then you can move a little bit more. And every time the runes light up means he can hear you, so just stand still. There's also the kind of free man. I think it's called Clubfoot. I can't remember. He will only attack if you look at him. Here we go. There's another room. Then they started to introduce the witch. The witch has very eerie music. So I've got I got three out of five now. The witch has very eerie music, which builds up. A bit like the pig man. When she sees you, she will run at player speed. But if you turn a corner, you can pretty much lose her. It's quite easy. Once you start getting scarecrows, pig man, it gets a lot harder. I've never met the wicker man. There is a wicker man who apparently has a festive outfit or has looking more festive the duration of this update, which I'm quite keen to see what that actually looks like. So here we go. Let's go this way. We're trying to keep an eye on the hedge line, if that's the right term for it. Because I'm looking for the buildings. You can get the seals, like... He's coming, he's down there. I know he's down there can get seals in the courtyard and sometimes there's a puzzle guarding them as well but most of the time they'll be in these houses and I'm still convinced there's only one at the moment in this map one pig man I could be wrong it would be great to do this without dying because if you die you lose I think it's 10% XP is it per life I could be wrong I don't know but there's a hefty XP penalty for dying. Also, completing the map in a certain time, time uh, within a certain time limit, will get you an XP bonus. But taking too long can get you an XP penalty. Right, so that's a dead end. Let's come back. If Pigman catches me. There is a sort of jump scare animation. It used to be a lot more visible. Like, similar to uh, Lunch Lady, Devour. Those kind of games. Uh, but they've, they've changed it now to make it a little bit more subtle because apparently people hated it, which is okay. You know, if, if, if it's listening to feedback is what matters. Go okay, so... It is very similar to um, one of the existing maps. It's like a winter version. Oh, God, it's close. I mean, a bunch of dead ends now. Let's see if I can hide. There's, no, there's nowhere to hide. There's nowhere to hide unless I can kind of... Hope he goes away. Sounds like he is. Good. Dead end. Right, sounds like he's very close. I'm gonna head back down here. Definitely in this direction. Because it's getting louder when I head that way. God, he's to my left. <laughs> there he is, there he is, there he is. Oh my God, I was so lucky to find that house. Four out of five. Oh, I got lucky. I got lucky.
That's what I mean by stressful. It's like when you know they're chasing you, you can hear the footsteps and that shaking of the screen when 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 you've aggroed. Oh. All right, one more to go. I think he went that way. Let's try this way then. Huh. I may actually have to follow him, which is terrible. Because that's a dead end. That's a dead end. That's a dead end, isn't it? I'll turn myself around now. Um, problem is he's gone down a direction I haven't been. <laughs> Here we go. So, oh, he came from this way, didn't he? As long as I keep an ear out for that music. What's this? What's this? What is this? Oh, it's the Shrine of Bones of some sort. So any. Sometimes they can be on these kind of things, but that looks just like a decoration, really. I think it's kind of a case of pick a direction. Did I hear something? Pick a direction and go for it. So we've been this way. Is there another turning I can go down? God, this map is actually pretty big. Well, it could be anywhere, couldn't it? I'm not seeing any buildings at all. Generally, the, uh, the seals or the objectives you need to get are usually in pretty key places. Like you'll come to some big monument or something like that. They're not usually just they're not just you don't find them scattered around any corner of the maze. That's why I'm not worried too much about just looking on the ground for them. I'll we'll back up with our our previous trail. Keep running running. He's somewhere behind me, I think. Oh, is there a turning there? I missed that turning. Building there. But have I been to that one? I don't honestly know. Well, let's take a look. This could be the last one. Nope. Oh, 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 oh. Please be yes! Now, I've just got to get to the exit. And I know the exit is in the opposite direction of where we're facing. I'm just going to wait, because I can hear he's very close. There he is, look, there he is. Oh, I missed him. Run away, this way. I go around in this direction. Follow a green path, because I know the green path is going to lead to the exit. Now, normally what I do at the exit, and I didn't do it this time, I was too busy, like, looking at the new map, is... Dead end, isn't it? No, no, no. Is put one of each colour glow stick in a line at the first junction or the, the, from the exit. Um, I haven't been this way, ever. It might lead me back to the exit as well. Um, in that way, I know, if I see at a distance, where there's a cluster of four different glow sticks, I know that that junction leads to the exit. I've just got to keep an eye on where that is and kind of head down the outside. I, th I think this is the way. If I see a, a a lantern, then I know that's it. Well, yeah, I didn't do it this time, but that's what I normally normally do. Um, I think it's down here. I think it's down here. But that's pretty lucky. I think we could have we could have got there. It is. There's the exit. We could have got. Something really, really... We could have got more than one. We could have got these new monsters. We wouldn't have known how to in deal with them. Although it would have been fun to see what they were. But at least we managed to escape. So this is what I would have normally done. I would have gone to... Um, here we go. Put a bunch of different colours here. And then, you know, as I'm running along, I see like... Oh, look. There's all the different colours. That's where the exit is. It's down here. You see it. You can see these glow sticks from quite quite far away as well, so it could be really helpful. Anyway, let's pop, pop all these in. Boom, 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 boom. And let's see how we do. So there we go. Base 50 XP. Time taken 23. So that's four plus four XP. So not a percentage. Plus four XP. No deaths. So that's a plus 10 percent bonus. Total XP 59. That's pretty low. It's pretty low. We are running on an easier mode because I'm doing this solo. It is pretty hard, this game. Um, I've ground my way. Ground, grinded, grinded, did, did, 
my way from about level three all the way up to uh, level 12 doing this solo uh, whilst my friends are taking a break from it. Um, but there we go. That is the new map. And maybe I'll do another video of this when we get um, one of the rare cases. In fact, I'm just going to check now. No rare cases. No rare cases. That's two cornfield maps there and two of the unkept maze maps. So... No, if I get it again and we get the, the rare map, hopefully we'll see those new monsters. I might upload that run. But I just thought I'd show that so you can have a look at what the new map looks like. Anyway, so if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. But consider subscribing for more horror shenanigans. And I will be back soon, hopefully with more content before Christmas. But until then, please do stay safe. Thank you. Bye-bye.